He was one of the rising stars in Gaza's media world and the eldest son of Al Jazeera's Gaza bureau chief Wail Al Dahdouh, one of the most well-known journalists in Palestine. Like he has done every day for the past three months, Hamza Al Dahdouh had gone out to document the aftermath of an Israeli attack in southern Gaza. But the 27-year-old journalist never returned to file his report. I'm bidding farewell today. What else can I say? May God the Almighty give us strength, give us comfort, give us patience. May God the Almighty give us the strength to carry on. For the sake of Hamza and for the sake of all those killed, I say we will remain faithful. This isn't the first time Wail al Dahdu has suffered such a loss. In October, his wife, other son, daughter and grandson were all killed in an Israeli strike on a house. And last month, he was injured in an Israeli attack that killed his colleague, Samir Abu Dhaqqa. <laughs> For Hamza's friends, his death is a tragedy they can't comprehend. I don't want to cry, but I'm reporting this right now because I know that if, if Hamza was here, he wanted me to report and he wanted all of our, his colleagues to report and to continue reporting. And I'm so proud of Hamza and everything he did and everything he reported. Hamza had a close bond with his father, whom he worked with in the field. He was his first uh, born, his eldest son. Um, he was the one he relied on. He wanted him always by his side. He was so proud that Hamza studied um, journalism. AFP journalist Mustafa Thuraya was also killed in the same Israeli strike that targeted Hamza's car. At least 110 journalists have been killed since Israel's war on Gaza started in early October. Hamza's life might have been cut short, but his father and friends say they will continue to report on Israel's war on Gaza, no matter the consequences. Hamza Mohammed, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.